I have three questions. Each time I ask the question, the first person to give me the correct answer will win, uh, will win something. You can only win one time. So what will you win? That's a fair question. Oh, check out this beauty. Nice, right? So you can win this bottle, or you may very well decide, you know, I want to go with the embossed CVCC mm -hmm. journal because I want to start uh, writing about my future ASAP. And I will also send you a copy of our uh, view book, kind of an at a glance of what's going on at CVCC. So I am going to ask the question. The first one to put the answer in the chat box will win uh, that particular question. Here's the first one. What is the name of the town in which the Flintstones live? Do we have an answer, Kim? Not yet. Michelle, can I answer or no? No, no, you no. cannot. <laughs> No response? No response. All right. I, I know I'm, I'm much older than all of them, so that might not be a... All right, well, let's ask the next question. Here's the second question. I have the, uh, his question to the, oh, hold on, hold on. Tamia has an answer. Okay. I have the question to the first... Uh, I mean, I have the answer to the first question. Talk to me, darling. Is it a uh, bear rock or? Yay! Yay! Bear rock. That is the correct answer. Now, here's what I want you to do. Brittany uh, is going to uh, reach out to you, and you're going to give her your information so that I can send you whichever these uh, items you choose, either the bottle or the uh, the journal. Thank you for participating. All right. Here's the next question. Scooby Doo and his friends traveled around in which vehicle? No, Michael, you cannot answer. Mystery van. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Who was that? Tamiya, she's my new favorite. Wait a minute. What was the answer? <laughs> Mystery van. Mystery van. That's not, not right. Did, did she just correct. win already? That's not yeah. the. That's no, not it's the not the name. Mystery van. It's a different name. Mystery is right. She's close. He is close. Are we going with close? Keita, did you have something? I was just laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's the mystery machine. I think that was close enough. All right, and here's the last one. How many curves are in a standard paper clip? Are you cheating? I was. Oh, come on. Is it th three? You got oh. it. The answer is three. Oh. Okay, ladies, what I need you to do is uh, get with Brittany, and she's going to get your information, and uh, we will get these items in the mail to you ASAP. All right, let's move on into the session. The objective of our information session is pretty straightforward. We want to get some information to you. However, we also want to hear from you. And so we will have a Q&A at the end of this, um, toward the end of the session, so that uh, you can ask your questions. So I would say to you, as you are listening, please think about questions that you want us to answer because we want to make sure we're getting you the information uh, that you need. So there's one question I'm going to always answer, I think, every time we meet, because I want it to be understood that there is no doubt. Uh, the question is this, can CVCC help you realize, can we help you achieve your career goals? The answer is a resounding yes. I know that we can either help you get started or we can help you get to the goal. And over these next few weeks, we're going to make sure of a few things. We're going to make sure that you're informed about the programs and opportunities that we can provide for you. We're going to make sure that you're well informed about the quality of education that you're going to receive uh, at the college. We will talk about the wide variety of degree and certificate programs that we offer. We'll talk about transfer articulation agreements uh, that we have with the four-year colleges and universities in Virginia. 
We're going to talk with you about co-enrollment agreements that we have with the four-year locals, colleges, and uh, universities. And we're going to talk about a quality education at an affordable price. Now, I know that there are many students out there, and you all might be among them, who are concerned about whether or not you can even afford a college education at this time. I want to say to you that there is a team on this panel, a team at the college of professionals waiting to talk with you and help you develop a plan and a path that will keep you moving forward towards your career goals. So stay hopeful you're here tonight and you're here for a reason and that's important. And we are here and we want to talk with you about how we can help you keep moving forward. So the agenda uh, for this evening, Kimberly French is gonna come and talk with you and lay out the rules of engagement in terms of uh, how we go about interacting uh, together this evening. Uh, Michael Ferris is going to come and say a few words uh, to you as well. And after that, you're going to hear from the presenters. Kimberly, I'm going to give it to you. Hello, everyone. How are y'all? <laughs> All right, good. Um, I want to just let you know a little bit about the chat feature. So if you click on the um, participant list down at the bottom, you can raise a hand if you have a question. And um, you can also go to the reaction area and you can do a clap or you can do a thumbs up if you wanna do that as well. If you have any questions during the presentation, in the chat feature, ask the question. I will, we will try to get them answered for you as we go through, but there's also gonna be a question and answer area at the very end that we will answer all of your questions for you. So we look forward to hearing from you just in a little bit. Thanks. Okay, now I'm unmuted. And most of the time folks have to mute me because I always have a whole lot to say and I usually say more than, more than my fair share. So I'm gonna try to keep it uh, as short as I can. I'm Michael Ferris, I'm the Dean of Enrollment here. And, and I'll tell you, we are so happy to see students again. Uh, you, you know, for the last several weeks, we've, we've all been kind of in different places and doing this virtually and uh, it is so wonderful that we get to see y'all's faces. So we've got a lot of great folks here tonight. Some are gonna be presenting, some won't be presenting, but they're gonna be here because they, they got wicked sharp minds and they're very good at what they do. Um, and I wanna make sure that everyone from CVCC that's here, that we give a great, a great big shout out to, you know, Kimberly, Mark, Ryan, Michelle, Deanne, Karen, Donna, Brittany, Hunter, uh, Tammy, uh, you name it, everybody. Did I miss anybody? Uh, did I miss anybody, Kimberly? We got anybody else here? We good? Want to make sure everybody uh, gets their, gets their uh, shout out. You know, like Michelle said, you guys can do whatever you want to do starting here. Uh, I was here 30, almost 30 years ago, believe it or not, and uh, well, you know, maybe one day you can be Dean if you want. I don't know. But we're so glad to have you here. We hope you enjoy this evening. And uh, now I think if I understand correctly, we're going to do a fun exercise or we're going to do a poll now, Kimberly. So I'm going to hand it back to Kimberly and then we're going to get uh, started with our presenters. Take care, everyone. Okay. I have a qu couple questions for you for your first thing. It's a technology can you see the poll up on the screen? Okay. So are you comfortable navigating new technology? Just answer it yes or no. And the second one, do you have reliable internet service? Yes or no? All right. Sounds great, it looks like you voted. So I'm gonna end the polling and I'm gonna sh launch, th share the results with you so you can see. All right, so 75% of you say yes, you are comfortable navigating technology. And then 100% of you have reliable internet service, which is great. So thank you so much. We will have some more polls shortly. Okay, everyone. I'm Karen Alexander. I'm the college registrar here in admissions and records. 
And I want to welcome you all to the session tonight. I uh, always love talking to groups like this because I know you guys are all sitting here um, anxious to get ready to get started in college, go back to college. Um, all of the people you see here on the panel have been where you are. Uh, it may have felt a little different, looked a little different in the past because now we are in a virtual environment. We don't know how long this is going to last, but we just want to assure you that we are all here. We have full support and services ready to serve you, help you get started, help you get enrolled, and help you succeed all the way through your college journey. So whether we're working with you virtually like this or face-to-face, -face, um, we just want to assure you that you're here for, we are here for you. So um, I, just by a show of hands, if you want to raise your hand here on camera or something, have you guys already applied to the college? Okay, I see a hand, see a hand. Wonderful, got a few off video there. That's great. If you have already applied, then you are accepted to CBCC. So congratulations. As soon as you completed your application, you should have received a confirmation. It would have popped up on your screen immediately. You would have received an email and a text uh, from CBCC welcoming you to the college. That is your confirmation that you are accepted. So we welcome you uh, fully into the college and we look forward to getting you started. Now, one thing that also would have popped up on your confirmation screen, or if you don't recall seeing it, you can always sign back in to where you did your application. And that is whether you are an in-state or an out-of-state resident. Now, if you live in Virginia and you have been here for a year or more or a lifetime resident of Virginia, then you hopefully have qualified for in-state tuition rates. The advantage there is that in-state tuition is the most affordable way to go. It is a benefit we offer to Virginia residents. It's about a third of the cost of out-of-state tuition. So um, check back to your account, make sure that you are set up as an in-state resident if you feel that you should be. Uh, if not, there's an easy appeal process that you can contact the admissions and records office, submit some documentation, and we can make sure that you are receiving the best possible tuition rate that you deserve um, as a student uh, resident of Virginia. So uh, if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to the Missions and Records Office. We'll be glad to get you um, started in that process. And just a few tips that we can do to help you make an easy transition, even before you begin talking with our counselors and navigators who you'll meet here in a minute about registering for your classes. Now, speaking of registration, summer registration is already open. Uh, registration for summer has been open since February. You still have time to get enrolled. Uh, we are enrolling all the way up and through May and even into July when our eight week two classes, June, July, when our eight week, uh, sorry, five week two classes start for summer. So if you're interested in coming in even sooner, you can get registered for summer classes. For fall, uh, our registration is gonna begin on May the 4th. And we <laughs> kind of joke that that's Star Wars day, May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you. Come on in and register. That's the first day you can get started. And again, we'll be registering for fall all the way up through August when our classes begin. So a few other quick tips that I just wanna tell you about, things you can do to get started and get ready and get comfortable with your new account, is if you've not yet signed into your My CVCC account, I want you to do so. Just click on the upper right-hand link on the Central Virginia Community College website, My CVCC. Click there and if you have not yet set up a password, you can click and you can set up security questions so you can reset your password in the future, get your password established and that way you'll be fully logged in. This is where you'll actually go in the future. You can register for classes here. Um, we'll have a navigation platform you can register through as well. Uh, we'll tell you all about that. And uh, this is where your information will be housed, your transcripts, anything you need to see. And speaking of transcripts, if you need to mail in your transcripts from colleges, high school, uh, we are accepting those. We can, we're set up, we're receiving mail still. We will take your mail transcripts if you can get those sent from your schools. We are receiving electronic transcripts for those that use that service. So we are fully able to support you in all the things you need to do to transition into college. So um, last thing I wanna talk about is, and we'll take questions at the end. We'll all be here till the end for a QA and a session. But um, I'll, your confirmation, uh, sorry, your email for the college, you won't have received it just yet but you will all receive a CVCC email account that you can use to communicate with us. That's the primary uh, source that we'll use to communicate with you, uh, your counselors, your instructors, everyone that work with you here at the college. Until you have that though, it's not a problem. You can use your personal email address that you registered for your account with and you can communicate with us through your personal email. But just know that once you get registered in your first classes, your CVCC email will be coming through. So I just wanted to let you know that you will have that as soon as you register for those classes. 
but I will now turn it over. I know you're probably all wondering about a big topic that's on all of our minds. That's financial aid. How are you going to pay for college? We have a lot of great resources available. So I'll now turn it over to Ryan McNamara, and he's going to talk to you about financial aid. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan McNamara, Director of Financial Aid here at CVCC. So I want to talk to you for the next couple minutes on financial aid, how to pay for college, what resources are available for you through the process. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see this little slide presentation, and we're going to go through it quickly. If you have any questions on it, um, feel free to email us and I can send you a copy of the PowerPoint presentation so that you see it, all right? So first of all, uh, welcome to this session and congratulations on the beginning of your next step of your career, and that's uh, receiving a degree from CVCC. So a couple of the questions that we have for you, here's three steps on how to pay for college. One is to apply for admission, and I think you all had indicated that you had done that. Eventually, you're going to enroll for the curriculum. You're gonna sign up for your classes. The third important piece is applying for your financial aid. So you're gonna apply for your financial aid by completing the FAFSA. You may have already completed the FAFSA. If not, it is not too late to, to submit the FAFSA. You're gonna to go to that fafsa.gov website. All right, so at any time also, if you have questions on it, feel free to contact our financial aid office and we can walk you through the steps and help you out if you need help with that. So how much does it cost to attend CVCC? As Karen had mentioned, for an in-state student, the cost is about $161 per credit hour for in-state students. So if you take a three credit class, that's $161 times three. So that gets you an, gives you kind of an idea of how much the charges are. Now the good news is that there is financial aid available and that's really what I wanna talk about right now with you. So what do you need to do? The next step, if you're applying to be in, or if you're planning to enroll in fall 2020, you're gonna to wanna to complete the 2020-21 FAFSA. And again, the website is fafsa.gov. Do not go to fafsa.com. Do not go to fafsa.org. A lot of those websites will charge you $70, $80, $90 to do what you can do for free on the fafsa.gov website. If you are under the age of 24, keep in mind you will probably need parent information on the FAFSA as well. So when you create your FSA ID, one of your parents or guardians will need to also create an FSA ID because their information is gonna be um, required on the FAFSA. Keep in mind that the FAFSA is not complete until all documentation is submitted. So if the financial aid office needs documentation from you, please submit that to us in a timely manner. The sooner you get that to us, the sooner we can finalize your financial aid awarding. So what type of awarding are we talking about? So one of the main ones is the federal Pell Grant. You may have heard of it. It's based on the FAFSA. The FAFSA determines your financial need. So the Pell Grant, you could receive up to about $6,300 a year in the Pell Grant. It's for it, um, undergrad students, if you're working on your bachelor's degree. And you can be awarded the Pell Grant for any amount of credit hours you're enrolled for. When we initially award you, we're going to award you based on 12 credit hours, which is full time. But if you're only enrolled half time or less than half time, we can adjust your Pell Grant to, to fit the credit hours that you're enrolled for. So you're not required to be full time. Another federal grant is the um, FSEOG, which is another need-based grant. Based on the FAFSA, you're eligible for approximately another $100 in grant money for the year. For that, it is a first-come, first-served basis. So the sooner you you apply to the college and the sooner your FAFSA is submitted, um, the better likelihood that there will still be funds available in that program for you. Then on to some state money, there's a COMA, which is a Commonwealth grant. Again, it's awarded to Virginia residents. The amount is not to exceed tuition and fees. And you have to be enrolled at least six credit hours, which is half time. So keep that in mind. There are other state grants. I want to 
point out the PTAP, which is the part-time tuition assistance, is awarded to people between one and eight credit hours. So regardless if you're taking one credit hour all the way up to full time, there is aid available for you. Um, the only thing we, that you need to do is submit that FAFSA. So again, that's the, the most important thing for you to do now is to make sure that your FAFSA is submitted to CVCC. And when all else fails, there are educational foundation scholarship money that's available to you. And again, the website link is there, or if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our financial aid office. There's also loans that are available for students. You can receive loans above and beyond your actual charges of financial aid. So if you need additional living expense money, loans are an option for you. You can also work while you're, on, while you're a student. So you can be a part of the federal work study program at CVCC. You're paid like a, a regular normal job. Um, you can also do community service outside of the college. So we have a few programs that you may be eligible to um, participate in with your given strengths that you have. There is a net price calculator on the website. So if you are interested in seeing how much aid you may be eligible for. This, um, it does not take long at all. The website asks for a few questions. You answer those questions and it will give you the results of your estimated financial aid of what, it, what you will probably be eligible for. Once you are awarded your financial aid, we'll send you notification of um, a link of where to go so you can view what your aid award package is for this upcoming year. So that's where you'll be able to see um, the financial aid that you're eligible for. We also have a tuition payment plan. So if you do owe money after your financial aid has been awarded and you can't pay it all up front, you can go on the payment plan where it breaks down the monthly payment over a few payments and that can help, um, help you financially. And the most important question is yes, or the answer is yes, you can use your financial aid to purchase books. So if you don't have the money up front for books, you can use part of your financial aid to help cover the expenses of your textbooks for the year. So here's our contact information. Our email address is financialaid at centralvirginia.edu. I would encourage you, again, if you want a copy of this slide presentation, email that email address and we can email you the PowerPoint presentation. So I am gonna come back here. Um, can everybody see me again? Okay. So that was the financial aid portion. I tried to go through it quickly because I wanna save time for questions at the end, but next I'm gonna pass it on to Brittany Cochran, who is going to go through the enrollment process to tell you what your next steps are gonna be. Thanks, Ryan. Hey everyone, my name is Brittany. Nice to see your faces on here and your name. Um, I am one of the college navigators at CVCC, and my role is to help you get started at CVCC with the enrollment process. So we've already heard about the application, which you guys have already done step one, so awesome. And then we just heard about financial aid. If you haven't completed your financial aid yet, that is okay. That's one of the things I'm here to help you with. We also have an entire staff in the financial aid office that are there to help you with those steps too. So the next step would be to actually make your schedule. So it kind of gets to the fun part, um, the advising piece on, you know, what's going to be best for your ultimate goal, whether it's, you know, getting out into the workforce or if you're unsure and it's general studies or if you're looking to transfer to a four year. So you would then set up an appointment with me or one of the college navigators. We also have counselors um, that you'll be, you'll meet with one later and, um, even though everybody, we're working online, we're virtual right now, working remotely, we can still do like a meeting through Zoom just like we are now. You can also reach us through email and you can also set up phone appointments, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, like Karen had mentioned, summer enrollment is open right now. Our summer classes will start May 18th and then our fall classes are going to start in August and May 4th is when we can start uh, actually enrolling you in classes for your fall. But before you get in classes, um, we need to determine your placement. So typically you would have a placement test that you would take on campus um, or uh, maybe at your high school if you're in high school and it's for math and English. So not sure if we've got any math fans or English fans in here. Um, 
since we are <laughs> since we are remotely working right now, we have a couple different methods in place to help you figure out your placement. So one is if you are right out of high school, we can determine your placement by looking at your high school transcripts. Um, if you're not right out of high school, then you'll have a couple different options too, um, where if you've been out at least five years, then there is a self-informed placement that we can go over with you, where you can basically place yourself into a certain class. Um, so kind of bypassing the placement test. And we talk to you and advise you first if that's a good step for you. The other way is we have the placement test available through um, a practice test. So it is something you can take at home, you know, on your lap, on your computer, on your laptop, and we are then able to go in and check the results or you can send your results to us. Now, um, this is something we would want you to take seriously because it's not proctored like the typical uh, placement test you would be taking on campus with us. This is something you can do from home and we ask that should you find yourself taking the placement test, um, the practice version, take it seriously. We want you to place in the class that you're ready to be in. Um, and we're there to help go over the results with you and advise you on which class you would, you would then be able to go into. Um, same for high school students. If you're in high school and we're not able to use your high school transcripts for GPA reasons, because there is a certain GPA standard that has to be met, then we would offer you the practice placement test to take and then work with you on what classes are best for you. But once we get past that, um, then we get to make your class schedule with you. If you are looking at taking classes in the summer with us, they will be all online. Um, and that can be a mix. So it's not just online where everything's, you know, in the classroom online and you don't ever have any face-to-face. -face. Every professor is kind of doing a different version. It may be Zoom meetings just like this, or it may be completely virtual. So we can help, you know, work with you on that too if there's a preference that you would um, like with doing classes online. Fingers crossed for fall. Hopefully we might be back on campus, but we are, um, you know, just watching everything and figuring that out day by day of what will be best for everybody. So again, once we get closer to enrollment, we'll have those answers for you and work with you on your fall schedule. Um, but once the schedule is made, we're there also to then connect you with any resources that you need. So we're there with you through your first year and then eventually we will help pass you off to your next step, whether that be a um, transfer counselor kind of for your second year or um, with your faculty advisor, depending on what career path you're kind of looking at. So I know that was a lot of information and like we've all mentioned, we'll be here for questions. So um, I believe we might have a poll right now to get you guys active, um, to get some feedback before ha handing it over to Mark Vicola, one of our counselors, to talk to you a little bit more in depth on those programs that you might be interested in. Exactly. Thank you, Brittany. So I'm going to um, launch a poll for you real quick to ask you what program you're interested in taking at CVCC. So you should be able to see options for you here. Just look at them and see all the different programs that we have and choose the one that you feel like is going to be the most, the one that you plan on taking with us. And Kim, I want to ask something. Do you know, um, does the poll only allow them to select one option or are they able to select multiple? One. Okay, so pick the best, the most interested one then. Right. I think we may be waiting on one more. There we go. All right, I'm going to end the polling so we can see the results for you. All right, so the first result um, that you have is going to be the transfer, general studies transfer. You have 40% um, for the transfer programs, either in general studies, education, business administration, or liberal arts. The next one is 40% also in an allied health program, whether it's either radiology, respiratory, or med lab. And then we also have some interest in either mechatronics or the electronics technology. So 
those are great programs and Mark is going to be able to go over and talk to you now about the different programs that we offer here. Thank you, Kimberly. You're welcome. Your first polling question, I believe, asked about your comfort level with technology. And I just wanted to say I am delighted that I remembered to take off the mute button uh, so you didn't see me uh, sitting here uh, mouthing words and nothing coming out. So this is a big advancement for me. So CVCC's motto is where your future begins. And it is more than merely a bunch of words strung together. Everyone on our panel today can share countless stories with you regarding students that have had a goal, a vision, regarding a career or an academic area, and they've made it to that finish line, and they're doing what they want to do. Whether that's something in uh, machining, whether you want to be a nurse, a teacher, an engineer, a physician. We've seen every legal occupation come through our doors in over 50 years. So essentially, there are two paths at our community college. For those of you looking to transfer, the role of the community college is, oh, if I go straight to the four year, I'm going to be required to take English classes and math and history and some lab sciences and a speech class and some social sciences. So CVCC offers you all of those general requirements at a fraction of the cost, at a savings to you to save and to use at that four-year institution. We also offer technical programs, which might range in sizes from a career study certificate, small, few classes, uh, diplomas, certificates, and associate's degrees, which are designed to prepare you for the workforce. I take these classes, I graduate from this program, and I am ready to hit the ground running in my chosen profession. If you are pursuing a technical program, I like to encourage students to think of it as, oh, I am auditioning for a job every time I step on the CVCC campus or I turn on that computer. Your instructors want to see what your level of energy and dedication is. Do you show up to class on time? Do you complete your assignments? Do you fare well on your quizzes and tests? Are your projects, do your projects display a dedication and a knowledge in that particular area. So when companies call us, and they do, and they talk to our program heads, they're going to want to know, hey, who's graduating this semester that you would recommend? And if you have that strong work ethic and you give CVCC, you give your future your very best, your name's going to get mentioned. And there's a great chance that you're going to be able to begin your career right here in Central Virginia. Naturally, if you choose to go elsewhere, we'll miss you. You're always welcome back, but that's also a possibility. On the academic side of things, if you're looking to transfer with a business administration degree, engineering, liberal arts, science, what have you, 
you have to keep in mind, or I would suggest that you keep in mind that, oh, I've got to get a four-year institution to say yes to me. And the easiest way to that, for that four-year institution to say yes is by you giving your very best here at Central Virginia Community College. On the transfer side of things, we have guaranteed admission agreements and articulation agreements. Essentially, these are uh, contracts between our institution and that four-year institution. And if you fulfill the obligations of that contract, there'll be a seat with your name on it at that four-year institution. So you don't have to worry about ooh, record enrollment at this school or that school. It doesn't matter if a million students apply to that institution. If you qualify under either guaranteed admission or articulation agreement, there's going to be a seat there at that four-year institution for you. And that's a really neat uh, opportunity uh, that, that we offer. And we've got support. This isn't something that we're going to throw you into the deep end and, oh, fend for yourself here at CVCC. Navigators like Brittany, counselors such as myself, and everybody you see on this screen is here to support you and to help you. We've got a number of services from student accessibility, the writing center, we offer free tutoring, we have a math lab. If you need some support, if you need some guidance along the way, there are many, many people on this campus here for you. Okay, I think I'm out of breath. So folks, again, thank you so much for spending some of your day with us today. And I'm going to pass the torch on to Deanne McDaniel, our Students Activity Coordinator. Thank you. Deanne, before you get started, I'd like to do a poll real quick. This is kind of a fun poll for you um, to be able to tie it into with her activities. Let me do that real quick for you. All right, I'm gonna launch the poll. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? And here are your choices. All right, everybody's voted, good job. I'm gonna share the results. It's a resounding big one for 60% for vanilla. And then um, we also have 40% for cookie dough. So good job. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to Deanne McDaniel now and she'll tell you if we have those flavors for you during our events. Hi, again, my name is Deanne McDaniel and I am the Student Activities Coordinator and the scene that's behind me is actually our unfortunately empty student center right now, but I'm sure it's craving to have all of our students back in there um, as soon as possible. So you've heard all about the in-class and academic pieces of your college career. Well, I provide the fun part of your college career. I do what's considered the out-of-class learning. Um, that's where you have leadership opportunities. It's the way you can get involved in campus. And when you're new to campus, it's also a way for you to make friends. So I oversee all of the student clubs and organizations that we have on campus. Some of those are crew. We have a games club, our student veterans organization, and Phi Theta Kappa. We also have a couple of uh, clubs that are department specific, like our radiology and respiratory clubs. I'm also the advisor for the Student Government Association, which is very similar to what you've had in high school. And then, like I said, the fun part of my job and kind of what uh, Kim was talking about, about the ice cream flavors is twice a year, um, we have a picnic. So we start off the beginning of the semester with a picnic and we end the semester with a picnic. Normally that would be next Friday, but we're gonna do something a little different this year since we're virtual. Um, and one of our um, desserts usually we have is ice cream there. So having those flavors helps me make sure what we have available. Um, throughout the year, we also do like a Halloween costume contest. And then the week before our exams happen at the end of the semester, we also have various stress release activities we do. 
So those are all kinds of the fun things that we have outside of your academic piece. So we want to make sure you get your academics, but then you also have a way to relieve your stress and come and enjoy yourself as well. So like everybody has said here today, although I'm not a counselor, I am do act like a counselor sometimes because of being in the student center, I have a lot of direct contact with students. So I also am a support person for you as well. Um, if I don't have the answer or know the answer directly, I'll get it for you and get back to you. Um, and because my office sits right in the student center, a lot of the students do come to me quite often because I'm easy to find. So my door is always open. And then when we're back on campus and able to function, one of the benefits that I offer is uh, movie tickets. They are 850. So that's, I know, a nice little benefit compared to what the prices will be. And gosh only knows what they'll be when we get out of this. So thank you guys for joining us today. I know this was a lot of information, but as always, we're here to support you even during this time. So you can always reach out to us. So I'm gonna turn this back over to Michelle, who's gonna wrap up this information session. Thank you. Um, uh, can you hear me? On behalf of the listeners and all uh, to all the presenters, thank you so very much. The information was more than helpful. We are now going to move into the Q and A uh, portion of uh, this afternoon, and I'm going to give it to Kimberly so that we can entertain again any questions that you might have. And listen, there is no question that is not a good question. If it's something you need to know, we want to answer. So now we're going to go into the Q and A part and uh, entertain any questions that you might have. Kimberly? There are no questions on the chat, but feel free to write them in. Go ahead and write questions into the chat feature and we will get them addressed for you. Um, or if you feel like unmuting yourself, raise your hand, unmute yourself and you can, and you can um, ask the question. I have a question. Sure, go ahead. I received an email from um, CVCC and it stated that I needed to check my to-do list, which is in my, what is this? Student. Student. Yeah, that. <laughs> and it says that I have to, re it's a request to contact the uh, financial aid office. So I had already um, did my financial aid, my fast fund stuff, but it says that I have to contact the financial aid office at my earliest convenience. Okay. Ryan, did you want to address her, her question? Yes. Yeah, so there may be some document that we need from you. Um, okay. when you, when you sign, when you go to your to-do list, have you been able to see your to-do list? There should be a list with even like links and the link could mm -hmm. take you to where, um, where the document is that's needed to be submitted. Mm -hmm. So I would say check that if you still you know if you cannot figure out what what document we we are requesting send an email to that financial aid at centralvirginia.edu email and okay. just give us your name and if you know your id number give us your id number and you know just say hey i got i got this email i don't know what it means what do you need from me and we can reach back out to you and let you know what we need from you okay thank you And I just put in the chat feature for you so you could see all of our contact information um, for all the pr people that are on here tonight with you um, to be able just to be able to get in touch with if you have any questions regarding financial aid, admissions, um, advising, any of that, all the contact information is there, their email addresses. So. Anybody else have any other questions? I have a question. Okay. Um, I was wondering if I could possibly attend nursing school and CVCC. So nursing school, so like with Central Health? Yes, ma'am. Or, you know, with Lynchburg College or? Okay, so I'll, I'll answer that question for you to, to some extent. Most of the time, you can do a dual type program. However, there's going to be a lot of prerequisites that you're going to need more than likely for the nursing school. So um, a lot of times our students go through our allied health program, our health sciences one and two program that will allow you to get all your prerequisites that you need for transfer either into University of Lynchburg or to Centra Health. Um, but typically they start with that and Centra Health really likes 
they have to have those prereqs done to get accepted into the central health program. So you would want to start with us first and then have those courses transfer over. Okay. Did that help? Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? So I have a question for our visitors. Who can who can tell me the name of CVCC's uh, of our mascot? What is it? Not necessarily the name, because we're still trying to work on what to call it, but what is it? What kind of animal is it? You can unmute yourself and say, just scream out the answer. A dog? I don't know. We have dog. Is it a cat? Oh. oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Tristan has it in the chat. Tristan got it. Yeah. Tristan. Uh, yeah. Good job, Tristan. So I, so if you guys, if you look really closely, if you can see me, you can see that there's something behind me. I've had it hiding behind me the whole presentation. We, we are the cougars. And if you come here, you will be too. But we've been the cougars for quite some time. But we actually, we've, we've not ever had like our warm and fuzzy furry mascot jumping around, right? Well, you actually are the very first students to see that we have one now. Let me move out of the way. You see him? Look at him, right? You like that? If you like that, uh, you can unmute yourself and say that you like that. Or you can do the thumbs up. It's hard. You like it? Yeah. Well, thank you, Faith. <laughs> we like it. It's pretty neat. Um, what we're doing, if you keep an eye on Facebook, um, I think it's going to be Facebook. But over the course of the next few days, we're going to throw up, we got to name this person. And so we actually started a contest before this whole you know, coronavirus thing hit to name him. So he, he's been here for a couple of months, but he doesn't have a name. We've got it narrowed down to 10. And, um, and you keep an eye on our Facebook page because we need help going from 10 possible names to one name. So uh, we're all pretty excited about that. I know I am, but I'm kind of goofy that way anyway. But uh, we do. For the first time, we have our, we have, we got our guy here, or lady, or whatever, and uh, there it is. So, what do you think of that? We've got a mascot now. All right. Well, sorry, but Michelle, can I go with the the last poll for the please? Yes. All right. I'm going to launch this. This is your survey for what we just went over with you today. So, your survey questions are: Did you find the information in the session helpful? Was the information session worth your time? And did you learn anything new about opportunities and programs at CBCC? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Do we get everybody? One more. All right. All right. I'm going to end the polling and I'm going to share. Aren't you going to put your pink <laughs> all right, so we got a hundred percent on all three. Woohoo! <laughs> Great job. Um, so thank you so much for sharing, um, for doing the the polls with us. I hope you enjoyed the polls, um, and you were able to enjoy a little bit of fun with us too today. Michelle, you have any closing remarks? Yes, yes. Thank you all again so very much for um, participating and being a part of this information session uh, today. Please keep an eye on our Facebook page, keep an eye on the webpage uh, to uh, learn about different events and things that are going on. Uh, for the month of June, I would like to say, there were a few of you who were interested in the technical side of things. And in the month of June, we will have our faculty coming and talking with uh, audience about our different technical programs from welding to machining, HVAC, culinary, respiratory, radiology. So when you see 
uh, a particular uh, program that you're interested in, by all means, join us because we would love to, uh, again, get that information out to you and keep you as fully informed as we possibly can. So again, thank you uh, for being with us this afternoon. Thank you to all the presenters. You guys did a beautiful job. And uh, again, remember uh, that these information sessions are occurring on Tuesdays and Thursday throughout the month of April and May. Again, that information is on our website, so please check it out. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great evening. You too, Bye, girl. everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>